Hi guys, so uh, Pitch Canker here, and I just wanted to go over today what I think makes certain art uncanny, creepy, or just disturbing in general. It's something I get asked about all the time, and I thought it'd be fun to kind of go over. Now, being creeped out um, is a lot different, I think, than actual like true fear or revulsion or any of those emotions. Um, it's something like being unable to look away from something unsettling because you can't decide if it's a threat or not, right? I think that's an important thing to keep in mind, right? When we think of things like the Uncanny Valley and we think of things that are like truly disturbing, you almost can't look away and that's because you don't truly 100% understand what's going on, right? Um, a good example of this are eyes maybe that don't look directly at you, right? I draw a lot of eyes and I draw a lot of creatures that have eyes that point in different directions or maybe look through the viewer. Um, that's unsettling because you can't really figure out what they're looking at if, if they're even looking at you. Um, you think of like a bug in the wild, right? And how they have those kind of uh, camouflages of like, you know, what looks like a predator's eye or something. You can't really figure out what it is. And that's like your biological instinct to be like, I can't figure out if this is going to kill me or not, so let me get away from it, basically. Um, another example is just like a face maybe obscured by shadows, or a face that doesn't look quite right. I mean, it could be going back as far as something as like, you know, we had, uh, you know, Neanderthal and its ancestors, or um, like a mixed ancestry of like different primates. Like maybe we couldn't decide what was a good ape or a bad ape when we were a little bit closer uh, to that evolutionary cycle. You know, there are a lot of different things that make us afraid, basically. Um, and, you know, people naturally understand what creepy looks like, um, yet it, it still remains some level of undefinable. You know what I mean? And that's because anything can really be creepy with the right amount of tweaking, and that's where the art comes into it. You know, when I look at a piece of artwork, I don't think like, oh, what's a, what's a creepy thing? I think of how do I make this thing creepy, right? How do I distort this face? How do I make it so that um, this character looks through me or doesn't look quite right or has almost the features of a human, but there's something incredibly wrong. Like you can almost see with this piece I'm working on in the background here, um, it, it's a humanoid figure, you know, and it's kind of, there's something up with it, but you can't really, you, you wouldn't say that's a person, right? You could say it maybe was a person. Maybe there's something wrong with this person. There's something wrong with this thing. Is it even part of this world? You really start to think and your gears start going. And I find with creepy artwork, something that's really useful is not overly defining things, you know, not putting a lot of detail and being like, this is what it is, because what you want is for people to not know what it is. You know, I think a failure of certain um, like pieces of art that people try and make scary, they're like, why isn't my art coming out scary or, or intimidating or, um, you know, frightful? Um, it's because you're giving, you're giving the game away, you know, you're not, you're not obscuring enough. And there's a, a gentle balance between showing the viewer what, is in front of them and what is scary and what they can imagine. Like the imagination uh, is so much creepier than anything you could really achieve just through, you know, showing off your skills. You know what I mean? So ultimately, I think creepiness isn't derived from, you know, a, a particular type of visual or anything like that. It's taking a visual and distorting it to the point where you don't recognize it as something that is either socially acceptable or something that is comfortable. Because if you think of comfort, right? It's something that you're familiar with. It's something that's predictable. It's something that you can make sense of quickly. Um, when creating something creepy or creating something uncanny, you want to think, well, how far from normal can I make this while keeping it somewhat definable? It, it really is like a tight, a balancing rope act. You know what I mean? Like a tight rope act where you're trying not to overly send it and be like, this is my scary, creepy guy. And also saying, well, okay, this does have human elements or this does have familiar elements, but I am going to take that, I am going to twist it, and I am going to make it different. I mean, a good example, a classic example of something creepy is a clown, right? You know, it's human. They're human, <laughs> rather. But, you know, they have face paint on. They do unpredictable things. They pull balloon animals out of their, you know, their arms and they give you hugs and they, you know, pull out a horn and they honk it. Like, you know, it's defanged. It's like a very uh, harmless type of creepy but you know then you have the trope of the killer clown right like the kind of scary you know murderous clown or whatever and then it becomes really creepy um so you can't really define whether or not it's a, a good or a bad thing and so just something to keep in mind i think context is key uh and it's something to note when you're working on something creepy um you know if we think something is out to get us the more likely we are to find it creepy right it's like the same thing with a creepy doll 
Um, you know, dolls aren't all creepy, but, you know, in the right context, they are one of the creepiest things you can think of. And so I just wanted to let you guys know what I thought about that, how I approach it, and what I think about, you know, creepy art. And this is the piece I made while thinking about this subject. You know, just a humanoid figure with a kind of just a wrong-shaped head, uh, obscured in shadows, with the eyes in the wrong places. Like, it looks like they're twisted out of shape. Can you tell it's a threat? It feels like a threat. But what is it? And that is what I leave you with, guys, today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for my Patreon supporters and to everybody who watches towards the end. Uh, thanks again, and have a great rest of your day.